Hello, Matthew Williams here bringing you a quick video to help you to rejuvenate. Hmm. No, let's replace our batteries. Okay, I've got a 12 volt um, battery operated cordless drill here, and this battery's been getting a bit crap for a while. You know, it's not been it's not been doing very well. And um, you know, if you buy a new 12 volt one of these, it'll cost you about um, 30 pounds. But they don't make them anymore, so it won't cost you anything because you can't buy one so anyway if you've got a duff battery and this one would take you know 15 hours to charge and would maybe get about 20 minutes out of it if you were lucky you know and uh, then it wouldn't hold the charge so by the time you came to use it next time it had no charge so you have to remember the night before you want to use it to charge it up all shite right so what does this one have it has something new it has that's going to dub in just uh, Star Wars special effects because it's that time of the year. Um, yeah, basically, what I've done is I've taken this battery apart and uh, I've soldered myself together a, a model uh, thing which is off a model controlled aircraft and these little connectors here you can buy them for about 50 pence so I put um, red wire and black wire and I put a bit of heat shrink on there as well for good measure and then basically what we've done we unscrew the screws ignore this because this is what I used to say it was had 10 cells in it to give you give you the uh, 12 volts or 13 volts um, so you unscrew these and basically then you have to contact onto these two so work out which one it is on this one I'll make it easy for you so if you look at it this way and look at the notch at the front this one's plus this one's minus and I used to put on little clips actually I used to clip onto there with this model charger and this model charger would allow you to charge up to four amps and um, basically then I would put the clips onto the top like this so I just clip down on there and I put another little clip like that on there and that's it so then basically wire goes into said charger charger could be told to operate at up to 4 volts uh, sorry 4 amps um, but it's usually best to do it in about 2 amps for a little while and then when that stops give it give it a little bit of time to cool down the battery to cool down and then do it for one amp when that stops give it a bit of time to cool down and then do it like you know 0.1 of an amp and that'll charge it to the top or if you've got overnight you can just do it on like 0.2 and let it go the whole night so that was a good way of charging it when it was NICADs and nickel metal hydrides but in the end this was just becoming too much of a pain in the ass. so I thought it's time to do something quite radical so what we did is we put on this connector and then we've got model batteries which in this case is known as a 3S um, these battery cells in here we've got three of them so three in this one they're 3.5 volts each so that's 3, 6, 9, it's about 11, 12 um, before it's charged once it's charged it'll be up about 12, 13 or 14 volts something like that and that's fine to run a drill like this so you've got a choice you can either try and stuff the battery in there somewhere or you can take this apart you can buy a more square cell type of battery so that you can just slip the whole thing in but I thought well no the weight of this is actually quite good because the weight allows you when you put it like this to to stand it up you know and if you didn't have that the, the thing would just fall over so you could just stand it on a surface so you've got the wire coming out of there and then you've got the battery which is a high amp uh, battery off of model so it can fly you know fly aircraft that sort of stuff you just connect the battery up charge this puppy now these can be very fast charge you can charge one of these in about 30 minutes something like that um, you can probably charge it even quicker if you want to so and I just put a velcro on there velcro on there and that's good enough to go and you know it it doesn't look pretty but you know what you get about half an hour out of that and these can just be swapped over price of one of these batteries about three four pounds and um, a replacement one for this would be about 30 pounds 
and you wouldn't get much time out of it and it takes forever to charge these couple of quid and if you happen to have some lying around because you've been doing uh, aircraft flying remote control car stuff you know they're absolutely ideal um, I've chosen correct polarity here um, because this is a reversible drill it doesn't matter which way the direction of the um, the, the, the battery goes so we can go on uh, either way but I would recommend doing it correct polarity because there might be some electronic circuitry in your drill so um, 3S battery gives you 12, 12 volts 4 is probably a little bit too much it'll spin it too hard it'll probably overheat okay so um, yeah basically a really good fix for very cheap and now every single time I want to use this puppy I'll be able to because shitto batteries can fuck off so remember these things can catch fire when you charge them so be careful when you switch over to using lithiums because you have to observe certain safety procedures so read up on what lithium ions and lithium batteries are all about because they can catch fire if you don't charge them properly so never leave them unattended this video is for educational purposes I accept no responsibility for doing things like this right? don't do that unless you want dental treatment thank you very much